what's up y'all it's tati here and i am back with another youtube video so in today's video guys i'm going to be showing you three different ways you can be able to do a twist whether it be a passion twist or a senegalese twist havana twist or big twist small twist however you want but there's certain ways you can be able to start then and i'm going to be showing you guys how so i have my mannequin here and um i just parted a small section of her hair off and yeah so let's get into it so there are three methods that I'm going to be doing. The first method, I'm going to start the twist off as a box braid. The second method, I'm going to start the twist off as a lock. And the third method, I'm going to start the twist from a twist all the way down. Now, I couldn't decide for this video if I was going to do like a voiceover like I'm doing now or like an actual talk video. And I realized that I should have done a talking section on this particular braiding method. So for the first method, it's just going to be, I guess, a little demonstration. However, you guys can skip this part and skip all the way to the very end where I do a talk over and it's just much more in depth very much more detailed than what this first part shows also the other two methods are talk over as well so just want to put that out there but i'm so new to this y'all like this is my first tutorial ever so bear with me on this i'm working i'm growing so yeah i hope you guys will be able to learn something from this Now this next way is a newer way of doing the braid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a rubber band on it. You can also braid it, like uh, plait it down about six times down. If you guys seen it in my last YouTube video, I plaited it instead of rubber banded it and I did that because um, I didn't want the braid to show through the actual braid. So um, if you watch my last video, you will completely understand what I'm talking about right there. However, what I do is I just put a rubber band on there. So then I'm gonna crochet. Guys, take your crochet needle and then take the hair and then crochet it through just like that. And then pull it through. All right, that rubber band got a little loose so we can just Tighten it up just like that. And now that we have the hair in, so here's the here's how it looks, right? Here's the left side and here's the right side. We're gonna take a small piece from the right side. And then I'm gonna take, and then you have that small piece right here. And then I'm gonna take both of these extra pieces right here I'm gonna grab all three of them, including this, including the um, real hair. I'm gonna grab all three of them, and I'm gonna take the one that I just had, and I'm going to twist around. That's one time. Twist around another time, and just keep on twisting until you feel like you got a pretty good knot, a pretty good, you know, secure knot. And I feel like that's, I feel like that, this one is pretty good. And then, so now that you have that knot, you have it around, you're gonna hold it, right? And then you have these two sections left, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this middle section and I'm gonna put it towards the left side, okay? And then, you know, you wanna make sure you comb as you go. I'm not using any product right now, so of course it can look better. Then you're gonna take the section that's wrapped around that you're holding and you're gonna wrap it around one more time, but you're gonna add it to that right section, right? Just like that. So now you, now that you've added it, 
you have your you ready to twist and once you twist you're gonna twist in the direction that you're supposed to twist and then you start twisting down as you go just like that so I'm still a work in progress on this one for sure it's still a work in progress for me because um I'm just now, you know, learning this method, but I really do like this method because I feel like it will make the twist last so much uh, more longer. So, yep, that's how you do that one. So that's one and that's two. All right, so last but not least, this last method is probably one of the hardest ones and it took me a really long time to learn this method. But once I did, it became easy and very uniform. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a little bit of jam on it. Just a little bit, just a little bit, not a lot of bit, just a little bit. And um, then I'm going to divide the hair in half. Just like that. Boom, boom. Then what you're gonna do, is you're gonna take the hair just like this what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay it in the middle lay it right in between there and then what you want to do is you want to be you want to take your right hand and you want to hold that while you hold that you want to take the right the left section of the synthetic hair and the left section that you just divided and you want to twist it to your left twist 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 and you want to make sure that twist is as tight as possible right then what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to hold that. You're gonna have to hold that as well. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold it. I like to hold it, I like to go under and hold it with my index finger. And then I wanna pull that right side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this right side and I'm gonna put it over the right side of the synthetic hair. And then I'm gonna twist, 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 twist as tight as I can. And now that I have both of them twisted, I'm just going to start making a simple Senegalese or Havana or rope, rope twists, whatever they call it. You know, they have different names for it. Now, I personally think that this could look a lot better <laughs> on natural hair, but this is a mannequin that we're working with. So do understand that, you know, when you are working with a mannequin and you can do something on a mannequin, you can do it 10 times better on a natural head. So, yes ma'am. And these are the three different ways that you can be able to do a twist. Let's zoom out. These are the ways you can be able to do all three twists. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Watch this video as many times as you can, guys, and really slow down. Take your time. Order you a mannequin head if possible because these things really do come in handy. And like I said, once you're able to get it down on the mannequin head, it'll be 10 times easier on a natural head. You know, the scalp is not as hard and everything, but definitely invest in one of these mannequin heads if you want to um, invest in your craft and just um, practice more on doing hair so thank you guys for watching this video and i will see you guys in my next all right so i'm going to explain the box braid one since i didn't do a voiceover on it i didn't decide whether i was going to do a voiceover or not but now that i think about it a voice or but now that i think about it um talking is better than a voiceover so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just do the whole process again if you guys didn't understand it the first time but i'm just gonna take it just like this leave it in the state that it's in and i'm gonna put it over the hair over the natural hair so now you have three sections you're holding it just like this and you put it right over the natural hair and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your index finger you're gonna go under the left and the right section bring the left section under the right section 
and you're gonna braid as you go now if you guys don't know how to braid there are plenty of videos out there really going into depth and explaining how to braid this is not a braid tutorial so yes you're just going to twist it up i mean braid it around about i would say about six times down so four five six and then what you're going to do is you're going to take this middle section that's left over right and then you're going to take it and you're going to twist it and connect it to this left section like so like that and then you're going to take the right section and you're going to twist it to the left side as well and then you're going to twist it just like that explanation for you guys and yeah